Morning. So I'm here bringing Cedric Richmond right now from Louisiana, sir. Thank you for coming to the show tonight. Uh, what do you think about this? Uh, you, you just met. You apparently just got a briefing with the Black Caucus. Is there movement toward the president's position or not? Well, I think there's uh, willingness to listen. And today we actually met with not only Susan Rice but the president, who laid out his case for why he thought action was needed, why he came to Congress, and the risk that it would be to the country not on the short term but the long term if we didn't have action. And I think that there were some very uh, pointed questions and some. Uh, of course, different views of our options. And I think that everyone in the room uh, prefers diplomacy first. And uh, that was the goal, just to assess where we were and to get his thoughts on what we needed to do. Well, diplomacy means say no to the president this week. I mean, he, he wants an act of war. He wants to attack Syria and punish them for use of chemical weapons. Is, is the caucus, are you, sir, let me ask you about you, are you for an attack on Syria to punish them? Well, I'm only for an attack on Syria as a last resort, and I'm not sure that we're there yet. Uh, but first, it has to get through the Senate, which I'm not sure that anyone's confident that it would. Uh, okay. Another question is, the other question is, why the rush? Uh, this is their 12th attack using chemical weapons. So if uh, through attack 1 through 11, uh, we haven't used force, then I don't think there's a rush that we have to do it in the next day, the next week that we can take our time, try to build uh, allies, wait for the U.N. inspectors to come back with uh, proof that it was actually uh, the Assad regime that used it, which I'm pretty sure that it was. But we don't have to rush into this. And I think that part of the president coming to Congress shows that uh, there wasn't a need to rush and that he's trying to think it through. So the unfortunate part about this, Chris, is that this is all going to boil down to trust, whether you the people out there who oppose it trust their congressperson to make the right decision, whether we trust that the president uh, has all the facts, has all the plan, and that he only intends to do limited strikes and get us out of there. All of it's a, it's a question of trust, and part of it is a question of just how it will play out and what Syria does. Now, the other thing that uh, I'm probably confident in is the fact that I don't think Syria has the capacity to respond uh, to anything that we did, but that doesn't mean we have to do it right now. So I would say there were more questions in there from members than members having answers or opinions.